Welcome to my VESC setup procedure for Ryobi 480E writing mowers. Remember to update firmware before starting. Remember to support the rear wheels off the ground before performing this setup. Press motor setup wizard. Load default parameters no. Set battery type to lithium iron, cells to 16, capacity to 100 amp hour. Set the wheel diameter to 378 millimeters. Set the motor phase poles at 14 for this motor. Set the axle ratio. Five for the small number and 52 for the big number. That'll equal 10.4 gear ratio. Click Run Detector and click OK. This cycles the motor to determine specs. I have tested this with and without hall sensors with no difference in performance. Without hall sensors, this reduces wiring needed and future failure points. Motor current is maximum phase amp safe for your motor. Click OK. Test forward and reverse operation of the wheels. If they need to be changed, click Invert. Now run the setup input wizard. Click next. And click on the ADC input for e-bikes. Next. Press and release the throttle pedal. Go to control type, drop down menu, set current reverse button brake center. Finish. Now go to motor settings, general, and then current. Read the box, set the motor current max at 100, the regen at 40, drop down to the battery limits. My battery is 100 amp hours, so you set the maximum current at 100 and the maximum regen at 100. Click on the Motor Config button. Click Voltage tab. Those are OK. Click RPM tab. Set Maximum Reverse RPM at 4000. This will set the reverse speed. Click the config button. App to use drop down. 
click on ADC. Then go to the app config button and click it. Go to current reverse button break center and verify it. Go to mapping. In the mapping section, you're going to want to change the center to 0.05 volt above the low voltage. So in this case, it'll be 0.095. Go to the app config button and verify it, click it, and everything's done. If you want to change the throttle curve, you can on this setting. If you lower it like is shown, the mower will start off a little, the throttle will start off a little slower and increase proportionally. Again, you have to click the app config button if you change that. Go back to the main screen, the welcomes and wizards. Turn on the real-time data button. And you should be able to try forward and ver reverse on your mower. As you can see here, I'm applying forward and reverse. And it'll show you your speed and other information. You can also drag this menu and you'll have a digital, uh, you'll have an, another reading that you can see um, all types of settings and you can reset it for each trip. Going over to data analysis, real-time data. This is a, a graph of the mower operating. It's more informational than anything, but it does show you your um, ERPM. And that's the setup of your mower. You should be able to take it off the jack stands and go drive it at this point. Thanks for watching my video. Visit my Facebook group, Ryobi 48 Volt Riding Mowers.